Hi everyone, I'm Linden Luo. I'm Benjamin Wong. I'm Hong Chin Ren. And this is our Quest 3 demonstration. So for, uh, for Quest 3, essentially we have to build a version of a wearable device, in which case uh, we use the web browser, um, a client side with user input and visuals to connect the remote to Wi-Fi and a port forward to the Node.js server. Um, so the Node.js server talks to and listens to the ESP32 microcontroller through uh, UDP, and it talks to and listens to um, the HTML file through socket IO. So the ESP32 side, we have a thermometer and two indicator LED, which indicate uh, water and also indicate connection status, and also vibration sensor, battery monitor, and temperature sensor. So this all this data was sent over to the Node.js server using UDP, UDP protocol, and also received control from the Node.js server using UDP protocol to control the water LED and also temperature sensor on or off. So some problem that we face when doing this project, one is when we try to access the HTTP server over from outside the router, we're having uh, an error that basically said that we cannot receive information. We cannot send back information. You can see the battery sensor, which is also displayed on the seven segment. And you can also see the data, which is acquired over here. And the temperature sensor, you can turn off the temperature sensor by pressing the, the checkbox, which stop the acquisition and turn back on. So for the accelerometer, you can measure the row and the pitch. And the step counter, which is the running sum of the step since you start the web UI. You can see if I touch the vibration sensor, it increases. And so for water, so every 10 step, the water indicator will turn on. You can turn it off by pressing the button. And then you can also toggle it from here, from the web browser. You can also set a timer for it to turn on. 